Hey, Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who is our God. Hey, Shalom to you, Akimata, teaching and preaching in the four corners of the earth. Shalom, the wise, the apostle, the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, Akim, as well. Hey, real quick, I just uh, meditating over another topic, uh, dealing with the body. Which we know was designed, but um, if you you know take a few quick looks over some of the more intricate parts, you can easily see how there is um, the, the the Most High specifically designed everything perfectly the way He saw fit. And while you know we know uh, we were made perfectly in the image He wanted us to be, we are not perfect, but. We're dealing with the creation of the Most High. Hold on, shout out to Salah. Salah, <clears throat> check some. Come, but getting right into it, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee, and I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. Come. And so, you know, we know that. And we know basically we were given this position of uh, being prophets and young men, uh, young men through, through the elders and the apostles to bring out this truth and this information and this knowledge, basically. <clears throat> Yeah, we we ourselves were called to be prophets and to prophesy, and that's what we're to continue to do. And uh, but uh, just looking in on some intricate things, like I was saying, skipping ahead real quick, because uh, when you look at nature, of course you have patterns. You can see some of the details of. Uh, Like this, right? This is considered, you can see a pattern in this. It's considered a, a Fibonacci spiral, right? Because you, when you look at nature, you have what's called the golden ratio. Now, this is where they're trying to quantify the different works of God, um, which you can, in some sense, you can quantify some things. But, um, of course, we're going to get to Esau. He's trying to. Quanti he's trying to quantify the Most High and 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 t in order to overthrow prophecy and take down his son during his return. We know that too. Just like now, um, I went to the store to get a charger, but you got different chargers for different prices that do different things. You got some that crank out a certain amount of amps. Um, you got some that can uh, charge a little faster, right? But, but you have to pay like 20 bucks or something, but it charges like one and a half times faster than the regular charger. And then you have different types of charges now. You have the, not, not even to go into that, you have USB A, you have Type B, and you have a new Type C. And so Esau, uh, I said it to say Esau's trying to quantify the numbers for everything so he could try to figure out, just like. Um, Another thing. Wait a minute. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get to that. We're gonna we're gonna get to. That. I just want to show this particular information. See the golden ratio. It's the it's the it's the pattern, the so-called pattern of life. We're gonna get to that though. And then you know Esau. Look, his Greek symbol is the Greek letter phi, shown. Any number that is a simple fraction. We'll, after a while, make a pattern of lines stacking up, which makes gaps. Con. And so, yeah, like I said, they're trying to understand and, and mark what exactly, what, it, uh, what exactly, they're, they're trying to understand the math of the most high. And like I said, he did give us certain information, but certain information he did not give to us. And you can see that in nature. 
the spirals of the leaves, the way it's shaped. It would have had to have been, Esau will tell you this, but he'll tell you there is no God. Now, why is there a certain math in nature, though? There shouldn't be any patterns if uh, if, it, if it all just, it's, it's all just a big coincidence. So why is there a pattern in it? Because it was designed. Come. Romans 1 and 20, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world, so like it, so you can see that, are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. That's correct. His, so by his eternal power, let's read that again, for the invisible things in him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. You know, we can we can clearly see this stuff. Very clearly see the, the different patterns and the different shapes and the way that he's created things. And I mean, if we talked about the science of the Bible, we could talk all day. We could talk about um, everything we you know, of course, is in cycles. The world has a cycle to it. There's electromagnetic cycles. It has temperature cycles. It has certain cycles of water. You have the rock cycle. You have magnetic cycles. And you have electromagnetic cycles. A lot of stuff that you can't see. But the birds and the fish, they can read certain magnetic cycles on the earth. Um, and they can understand how to navigate. And that's another thing, too. Um, just like the scriptures talk, I, didn't, I don't have it pulled up. But the scriptures talk about uh, the, 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 the animal spirit going back to the earth. And the animals do have that connection to the earth. That's why if you look in the brains of any animal, it's going to contain a certain amount of iron. And they, certain animals have to have more iron, like salmon, um, like certain types of oxen, uh, uh, Certain animals, certain birds, usually all birds, they have a, they have more iron, and with the iron in their brain, they can synchronize with the uh, magnetic poles on the Earth, and that's how they know what what time of the year to travel north or travel south. Or you have certain salmon they can travel 80 miles into the ocean, and then they can follow the exact river that they came back through, back up to the place that they spawned. And, and there's no way through evolution that you should be able to do that. You should you could travel 80 miles out and go ex exactly to the, the you know there are thousands and thousands of rivers. You go to exactly the same river, go to the exact place you spawn at. That's pretty difficult, but just to goes to show you they were programmed by the Most High. It's divine. It's a divine program. John, and then it, it elaborates on that. The flower petals. And then, you know, Esau calls it five, but, you know, we don't know the real, the real name for, for, for why it is and what it is, but it's not, it's not that. You can't, don't try to put a Greek name or something that we came up with. <laughs> because that's what Esau does. He steals information from us, and then he'll, he, he, he's fucked us up so long, now we're being retaught the information with the sample that we taught Esau. So it's looked like he's a genius, but really we came up with it <laughs> just to go to show you who the devil is, right? And of course you got the same flower again. This is a uh, matter of fact. This is a sunflower, I believe. Is it a sunflower? It's okay. Well, maybe it's not a sunflower, but it's some kind of flower. But just to go to show you the seeds, you know, Esau maps out the patterns of the seeds. You have a certain certain patterns and certain beauty in it. I mean. That's why it's very good to always, um, you know, we do a lot of, uh, uh, what's it called, entertainment, YouTube, you know, you're looking at movies and stuff, but it's always good to go into nature and observe nature and try to watch nature too. It's always, you have to have that connection too. You have to be able to, you know, have your little spots where you can go 
a certain little park or some, or you know, a certain shore or certain lake you go to where you have a connection because that's something special that the Most High created for us. The earth was created as Eden, but it was created for us. And it's going to be given back to us, we know. But the pine cones, they have the same pattern, which is crazy. Tree branches, same pattern. Yep, at a certain point, the branches get to a certain amount. Yep, 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 yep. Same pattern. Shells. Look at that. Now, there's no reason you should be seeing patterns if this is all coincidence. And they say spiral galaxies, you know. You know. Hurricane. Look at that. Wow. I, I didn't know that were hurricanes. Hurricanes hold that same golden ratio pattern. Faces. <laughs> hey, hey, that's crazy. People's faces. Yep, I can see that too. Faces hold that same ratio. Animal bodies. So it's a certain ratio that each body has. I mean, you know, we know that. You know, your hands always on uh, any kind of animal. Excuse me. Any kind of animal, your hands are going to be a certain size. Your torso is going to be a certain size. I mean, we naturally know that, but there is a formula for what exactly that is. And look at that. It goes into different animals, too. Dolphins, starfish, ants, bees. All of these very intelligent animals. And the uterus, right, right, right. Now I wanted to highlight two. Is it? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Guy who came up this Fibonacci, he writes an Italian mathematician from the Republic of Pisa, considered to be the most talented Western mathematician of the Middle Ages. Khan. And if you look where Pisa is at, that was kind of fucked up because I got everything in half a screen. Here's Pisa. Pisa's in Italy. Here's it next to Florence, Milan. You got Rome down there, but here's most importantly, you got the islands of Corsica and Sardonia. You know, then you got what's, what's it, uh, Sicily down, Sicilia down here. Sardinia and Corsica, why is that important? Here's the flag of Corsica. Well, the flag of, so, yeah, the flag of Corsica. And then this is the, this is the, this is the flag of Sardinia. It's a black man because uh, they knew that the Moors were there. And that's why it's still the same flag to this day. Of course, it's in Sardinia because the Moors had took over. And so, me, I personally believe this guy is an Israelite. Could have, could have been an Israelite for him to, to have this kind of knowledge. Israel's the salt of the earth, not just in basketball and sports but in intellect too, in architecture too. We just don't get the credit that we deserve enough. Right? Now, another another reason why I say, just to back me up, this is some uh, Morris art, right? And you can clearly see in this different Morris art, specifically this one. Look at that. It's the, it's the same thing as we showed you earlier. It's the same thing. It's the same Fibonacci spiral. The same kind. I mean, it's not exactly, you know. Hey, you can if you can see it, you can see. It. <laughs> you can see it. You can see it. It's the, it's the same kind of art. So, for you to make an art like this, which is is the shapes are perfect, 
what kind of technology and understanding did they have to have in order for them to make exact art like this? But no, they didn't have computers or anything like that. And they're making exact shapes, exact functions. For you to make this, you know, shows the level of intellect that you're on. Like I said, with no computers, none of that shit. Yep, and Esau refers to it as sacred geometry. Kind of. Just, you know, going into some brief sacred geometry. Of course, you got this whole Leonardo da Vinci thing, but more interestingly, looking at the human body, look at that. These, the purple and, you know, blue is synonymous with each other. The, the human body has certain golden ratios between the body parts. Where's the one that gives more specifics? Yep. Show you with the circles. It's, this circle is equal to this circle, which is equal to, you know, and that's how you know, once again, Israel is the form of all things. This is information that we've known or we knew for thousands and preserved for thousands of years. And we use this information in our daily lives, uh, you know, your household, uh, even in the houses, uh, you know, you know, we, 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 we came up with the, the whole feng shui thing. You know, Israel is the foremost of all things. Certain, you know, you try to do that now, too. You try to have certain pieces in your house and certain positions. Uh, you know, if it's by the electrical socket, you know, it's going to have like an, an electrical charge. Certain things by the kitchen don't work well. Certain things by the window don't work well. Certain things by the trash can. And so you try to have that sort of balance in that particular order in your house. And that's how the Most High created it. He created the body with a certain order. And he created the, her the herbs, which we understood too. And we're coming back to the understanding now to, to achieve order in that body. You know, despite the curses that we may be under. Look at that. Certain ratio. Must be, a, must be an architect for this information. If you can quantify it like this, there's no, no such things as coincidence. If somebody who tells you that is lying to you. There's a, there's a correlation between everything. Yeah. And if you really want to get into it, you know, the nose length is equivalent to the first two digits of the index pointer finger. The head is approximately four to five eyes wide. Uh -huh. The length of the face is equal to the length of a hand. The eyes are separated by one eye's width. The bottom of the nose to the outside. Yep. So different different ratios for the human body. How do you know that? Well, one of the things we had in the ancient world too was the cubit. A cubit was uh, the length of the forearm to the, the tip of the longest finger. So we utilize that ratio in creating um, our different currencies. You know, because we, I mean, our different measurements. We measure things in cubits, and then we had shekels, which that was a measurement of something, too. And, of course, you know, in the ancient world, we were a lot bigger. That's why the question of what a cubit is has been under, you know, some, this, I believe they said it could have been three feet, you know, two and a half feet, which that's pretty big. You know, we, we're not sure because Esau has uh, changed that information around so much. You know, it's not, it's not 17 and a half. There's no way. And, of course, these other nations, they copied off of us with the whole cubit thing, too. Babylonians, the Egyptians, they copied that. The Code of Hammurabi, they, they copied what we had, and they created, you know, their different societies and their laws. And look, they try to say, well, Noah was approximately six foot three. That's impossible. There's, there's no way. You know, six three is kind of tall now, but <laughs> people in the ancient world were a lot bigger than they are, and they lived long. But uh, yeah, wrapping it up real quick. Bless the Lord of my soul, O Lord my God. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covered thyself with light as with a garment? Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain? Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? 
who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh the angel spirits his ministers of flaming fire, who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed forever. Oh, Salaki, I forgot to read this. this is Psalms chapter 104, Salaki. It's, it's, it's good though, it get good. Thou coverest it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. As thy rebuke, they, they fled. At the voice of thy thunder, thou hasted away. They go up by the mountains, they go down by the valleys unto the place which thou hast found it for the man. You gotta, you really gotta sit back and just read and enjoy this, man. He could do all of this. If he could do all, and you have to, you have to use this to build up your faith. If he could do all of this, there's nothing he cannot do for you in the in the time of your trouble. That's why you have to. We have to continue our faith. We have to continue, you know, being on fire for the truth and spreading the truth and, and doing the works of the prophets. If he could do this, there's nothing he cannot do. He designed everything, and he's, he's, he's he said, "I'm not a man that I should lie." So he didn't lie when he said he was going to preserve us, when he said his prophets were going to eat, that all of that is going to happen, and you have to have faith that that's going to happen. And of course, faith without works is dead. God, he sent the springs into the valley, which run among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the heaven have the habitation which sing among the branches. He walketh, he watereth the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the, the fruit of thy works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and herd for the service of man, that he may bring food out of the earth and wine that make it glad the heart of man and oil to make his face to shine and bread which strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon, which he had planted, where the birds make their nests. As for the stork, the fir trees are her house. The high hills are refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the conies. You know, conies are, uh, conies are, is a hare, it's a rabbit. He appointed the moon for seasons. Ah, hey, he said, what? He appointed the moon for seasons. So we know the moon, the new moon marks the Sabbath. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest dark, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from the Most High. The sun arises, they gather themselves together and lay down. Lay them down in their dens. Men go forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. That's correct. The earth is full of thy riches. And with that being said, all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. I got to get out of here. But uh, Shalom to you. I came out there. Until next time, Lord willing, Shalom.